just a quick video here tonight Chuck again picked up some of this just absolutely passionate purple filament for somebody to make a special request and I got it going on down here now I've just been having really really good luck with this printer I figured out some settings in Cura that I'm really happy with you can see some of my piles of um, my own designs over there that I have created that haven't quite fit yet that I'm working on. I made myself one of those camera holders which you can see that I am absolutely not using at the moment but I intend to be here shortly. Got my tool holder going on. Very very pleased with the way it's printing. The only really negative thing I have to say about it at this point is the little parts cooling fan is failing. It is starting to vibrate, and I've sprayed it down with WD-40 a couple times to try and keep it running. I picked up a couple of little parts cooling fans, and I'll show you one. That little fan I can only find in China, the one that comes on it, and they're like five bucks. And I'm not going to pay five bucks for a fan that's going to take a month to get here and probably fail again in the first couple of weeks. So I picked up a couple of these off Amazon. They're like five bucks each. I think the pair of them was 11 or 12 dollars. They're a little bigger, but when this little special purple project I have going on is over, I am going to print myself out, design and print myself out a little bracket to hold them. Probably only put one on, and then probably some kind of little duct kind of points under it to aim the um, aim the cool air stream under there. Been doing a little bit of um, ABS too. And while it prints beautifully, I have been having the problems of the edges curling up. And I have tried different different bed temperatures, 70, 80, and 90. I've tried different print temperatures. And I've tried turning the cooling fans off. I've tried shutting the air conditioning vent off to the room. And it's still curling up on me. So. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep fooling with ABS. I may go straight to PETG or nylon or one of the others that um, doesn't have that same curling problem that ABS does. I know that if I enclosed it, I could probably solve the curling problem. But, you know, with the electronics built onto the printer, I'm not sure I really want to enclose this printer. If it was something, you know, that had the electronics and all that in a separate box, I'd probably go ahead and do it. I've seen the IKEA table enclosures that look really easy and inexpensive to make, but I don't think I want to enclose this one. Anyway, that's my update for tonight. I'm going to let this thing print. It's about a 14 and a half hour print, and we are only about 34 minutes into it. So it's bedtime, so it's going to sit here and run all night. And I'll probably get up a couple times in the night to, um, to check on it. Besides, when you get to be 60, you get up a few times in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom anyway. So I'll stumble in and check it out and see how it's doing. Maybe make a, a quick, silent update so I don't wake anybody up in the, else in the house. Anyway, having really good luck. Really love the Ender 3. Hope you guys are having good luck with yours too. Catch you later.